Here we're going to step in the lounge area where you can see there's a kitchenette area, a dining room table, and a t area to entertain your guests here. Um, it's very comfortable, I'll be honest. I'd love to come in here at any point. Gives a nice homey vibe with the color scheme of blue, white, and gray. Um, has plants and even has a desk and table chairs for you to entertain your guests or have lunch or however you may feel fit. And you can cook here and have television going. So here we have the gym where they have the Peloton bikes. Um, they do have the step block. I think that's what you call it, but there's a stepping block there that you can use as well. They also have um, a full body mirror. They have weight balls and exercising balls, and there are two different sides, so you're not interrupting anyone on the other side. However, on this side, they have a punching bag, and also they have a rock climbing area on this end. So here we have a two bedroom, two bathroom. You have a decent sized living room and you could possibly fit um, a sectional and a table. Um, the living room is the first thing that you can walk in. Once you start to go down the hallway, there is a closet there. Um, it may be a maintenance closet. I did not go in the closet. Um, the kitchen comes with all the appliances. So dishwasher, refrigerator, a microwave, and stove it is completely electric there's plenty of space in the kitchen once you start to go down the hallway there is a room to the right which would be your master room i'm sorry if i am wrong but there's also a room to the left one is your master and one is your guest both rooms have entryway to the bathroom the master bedroom does have the bathroom inside of the room, so that is a little bit more convenient. If you are living with someone, that is something to consider. The bathroom in the master does have a bathroom closet, which I will say comes in handy. I used to have one myself. Both rooms can fit at least a king size bed. You have extra space, so if you want more items in your room, such as dressers, nightstands you can fit a king size bed and those items and even a little bit more if you don't mind losing a little space but they do fit that there there is closet space so each side of the closet you do have two sets of hanging racks so they're not just stacked above each other they're on both sides of the closet and that is going to be the two bedroom two bathroom these prices do start around 1500 for the two bedroom two bathroom depending on the floor they do have about 32 floors in the building so it just depends on the floor the size and the floor plan that you pick for your two bedroom floor plan okay so now we're going to proceed to the penthouse the penthouse does have three bedrooms and four bathrooms now you could really make this into five bedroom, four bathrooms, but it's completely up to you. But we're gonna start with the bottom floor. So bottom floor has a living room, which you guys have seen, a open concept kitchen. The kitchen has the refrigerator, stove, dishwasher, and there is an island in the middle. To give you more of a view, it is shaped in the form of a square. So you can walk in one way and walk out of the other in the kitchen. And you also have your master bedroom on the bottom floor. Now the master bedroom is pretty much two bedrooms put together. The closet is the size of one bedroom. So you could pretty much fit about two king size beds and still have a plethora of space. The master bedroom does have the bathroom on the inside and it also has a walk-in closet as well. Now while we're speaking of the bottom floor and all of the amenities that comes on the bottom side i do want to talk to you about pricing really quickly the penthouse is going for about five thousand at the time of the tour however you can message management and you can negotiate a price as i was told 
Um, you can go down to a minimum of 4000 at the time. It may be a little bit pricier because it is during the summertime. However, the price is negotiable. And with that being said, we're going to get ready to head upstairs to look at the other two bedrooms. But again, the bottom floor has the living room, master bedroom, master bathroom, open concept kitchen. Now that we're going upstairs, the upstairs has two bedrooms and two bathrooms upstairs as well. These bedrooms are set up in a Jack and Jill format. So on both your left and your right, you have two very large bedrooms. You can fit possibly a California King in these bedrooms, to be quite honest. But I would just say go for a king size at max um, for these two bedrooms. They also have their own bathrooms. The bathrooms do have their own walk-in shower, soaking tub, and a separate area with the toilet. So everything is separated in the bathroom and there is plenty of storage space, huge mirrors that you can see yourselves in. Um, you have one on the left, one on the right. They both have walk-in closets. So you don't have to um, fight for space with these two rooms. In the middle of both of the rooms, there is a living room space. Now this living room space can be boarded off to make for a extra bedroom or an office space or whatever you may have. There's also a mini size kitchen upstairs as well. So you can kind of separate the penthouse into two separate sections, if you may. So again, the top portion of the penthouse has the Jack and Jill bedroom set up with walk-in closets. Both have a bathroom that comes with the walk-in shower, soaking tub, and separate toilets. You also have that living space that you can keep as a living room or separate it into an additional bedroom or office as well and an additional bedroom. I